This is called a foam roller shoulder slide. So the goal here is to get the arms moving in this direction, promoting good shoulder blade movement, serratus anterior, which is a rotator of the, sho of the shoulder blade, and the rotator cuff. We're trying to get all of that in one exercise. Any roller will work. We're not actually gonna be putting much pressure on it. It's just gonna help facilitate shoulder motion. All right, so level one is with no band. You're gonna sit your hips back to your heels. If you're comfortable going all the way back, that's good, but you can also be up a little bit. The whole goal is just get the hips back so we don't use our low back to do this. Then I'm gonna get my forearms parallel, pinkies lightly on the roller here, and I'm gonna slide and push up that way, trying to keep my elbows even with my wrists. What I mean by that is that I don't want the elbow cocking out to the side. So the motion on the ground is this, not that. Okay, because when I do that, you can see I shrug up to my neck. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking to actually get to the shoulder blades rotating up and promoting what's called external rotation, which is this motion, whereas that is internal rotation. So on the roller, I'm here before I go, if I just relax, my elbows are outside my wrists. So I'm gonna push my elbows in together. I'm gonna try and keep my elbows tight together and then I'm reaching, okay? I want you to imagine that you're trying to reach to the floor somewhere just past your fingertips. So I'm really trying to get to the floor there. I can't quite get it. This part of the motion feels really easy, but then as I get this last couple inches, I start to feel some work in this area there, all right? If you feel any pinching or pain in the top of your shoulder there, I'm gonna have you place your palms up to the ceiling and try it again. Once you master that, we're gonna add some resistance. So I have a band here. So I'm gonna place a band on the forearms. That's gonna try to force me to do that. The goal is gonna be to maintain this position without overly flaring or cocking the wrist. So I'm gonna come here, back down, same position, elbows in, wrists out, and then I'm gonna to try to reach the floor just past my fingertips and back down. Pretty minimal weight into the roller, maybe 10, 15 pounds of, you know, pretty much just the weight of my arms. I'm not leaning into the roller, that's why I'm sitting back towards my heels, all right? So after doing a few reps, starting to feel quite a bit of work through there. Once again, I'll show a couple different views. I'm trying to have my forearms parallel. So this is the motion, not that, and not something weird with the wrists. So from this position, I'm here, trying to throw elbows in, wrists out. That's about my range, and trying to reach the ground just past my fingertips and back down. It's really that last inch or two where we start to feel some work. All right, give that a shot. Should be a pretty challenging activation exercise for that part of the shoulder.